Hey guys, I was crafting a new body armor to wear for my upcoming build, and um, I couldn't find any on the server, so I had to make it myself. I had to start, of course, by taking this redeemer item, rolling for increased non-curse aura effect. And what I'm doing now is what I find to be the best way. You can chaos spam, you can use uh, silver, I believe it's called sacred life force at the crafting bench, at the harvest bench, to force on a second influence mod. But what I was doing was just um, trying to exalt and annul off until we got um, a double influence. And then, of course, we had to buy the very expensive Orb of Dominance. Now, as you could see, the first time I knocked it off in the process. And then um, got it again, and then I went back and forth, annulling, exalting. And now, when we got the two influences, we had to have a 50-50 chance. We had to hit the non curse aura. As you can see, we hit the wrong one. Basically sold that base, started over again, got it again. Got the non curse Tier 1 on an eye level 86 or higher, Val Regalia, which is the highest energy shield possible. Now once I got it, I was able to take an Awakener Orb, I was able to now force on uh, elevated spell crit chance. So I have elevated spell crit chance, I have elevated increased non-curse aura effect using the Orb of Dominance on both. Forced it over, now as you can see I'm CI, I hit Chaos Res. It was a bad time to hit Chaos Res, my old body armor that I was currently using uh, during the experimentation process of making this build you know I did not want the chaos res I had to just have balls and just do that to get rid of the chaos res there was no other way to get rid of it very dangerous I don't necessarily recommend doing that but um, I was able to get the double influenced I had the open suffix I can now put on suffixes cannot be changed and then using the harvest bench if we went with Reforge with a Fire mod, it had to hit Fire Res. And I got lucky enough to hit a Tier 3. But it had to hit Fire Res. There was no other mod. With Lightning, you could accidentally get a Shaper mod. Um, physical Taken is Lightning. And um, same thing with Cold. Physical Taken is Cold. But I wanted to Force on Fire because I needed the Res for self-use. Now, I didn't actually need Fire Res, but that could be changed later. Now, at this point, I needed to use um, Harvest Reforge defense because I wanted to get the uh, energy shield as much as possible because we're CI we need to stack energy shield big time and so this is the process right now of me going back and forth putting back on suffixes cannot be changed to protect our tier 3 res and of course the two elevated mods that I wanted the crit mod the aura mod so I went back and forth and uh, at this point I got lucky enough to hit a tier 1 percent energy shield now at this point we could just call it quits right just put this on right now max energy shield and i did this at first um, and the reason is that this is a tier three this goes all the way to tier 11. if you just exalt on energy shield uh at this point to try to get plus to raw energy shield you can get like plus three you can get plus seven this way i guaranteed 69 um, and so 69 is always nice now of course we needed to convert this over because we needed lightning res not fire res easy to do costs a little bit of blue life force and so now of course um forcing on the plus to energy shield i just went ahead exalted and this is just a pure yolo exalt it's all you can really do at this point unless you play around with aisling which was not worth it as you can see i hit a really unfortunate mana i hit tier um what does that say tier nine mana low mana it was not what i wanted and then, of course, we only had 599 energy shield. No faster start of energy shield, which is a suffix. I could have, by the way, instead of forcing on fire, I could have forced on a defense modifier and hoped I hit a suffix and hoped I hit faster start of energy shield recharge, which would also be very nice. But it was more risky, and I needed the res for my build. Now, as you can see what I'm doing here, suffixes cannot be changed, and then um, using an annul to protect the suffixes, but then the first time I hit the meta mod, and the second time, I was hoping not to hit the tier 1 energy shield. I successfully took off the mana. At this point, I decided, okay, fuck it. Let's block life, because I don't need life. And let's do this. And we got a tier 2. And so it worked out very well. Got a tier 2 energy shield, much better, the 86. Much better than the 69. And so now, we can just put on very easily, just switch this over to percent energy shield. And now we have 696 instead of 599. This could be done, but I still wasn't done with it because um, it had potential still. 
you know, 600 and something. I wanted over 700 and something. So what we can do now is sacred orb because the base had potential for improvement. And so it took quite a few. I had to hit it a few times. See, I wanted it to be 190 or higher. See, 171 to 197 is the range. Okay, eventually we hit 191. Good enough for me. This could be done, but I wanted to divine it because it had more potential. Look at that slam. Very beautiful divine slam. 1.9 to crit chance. Very high non-curse aura effect. Good ES. As you can see, of course, we hit uh, 723. Much better.